Hello friends, welcome back to Spiritual Muscles. Today, the whole world is gripped by fear. Fear of a tiny microbe. Fear of something that which we cannot even consider as a microorganism. It is just a piece of genetic material. Today, in such a short time, India has recorded more than 535 positive cases and 10 deaths. States and Union territories are under complete lockdown in India. A curfew has been imposed. None of us are able to get out of our houses. All over the world, thousands and thousands of people are in isolation. They are suffering. They are suffering physically and mentally and emotionally. People are scared to go near them. Even their loved ones are not able to go near them because of the situation that they are in. They, are, they feel lonely, they feel scared. In the Bible, we see one man who lived in isolation. People shunned him. Everybody was scared to go near him because of the situation that he was in. He was suffering physically, emotionally and mentally. His loved ones could not go near him. They drove him out of the city. No one dared go near him. He was alone, he was scared, he was lonely. But Jesus decided to go to him. In the book of Luke chapter 8 and in the book of Mark chapter 5, we read the story of this man. There, Jesus is telling his disciples, come, let us get into the boat and cross the Sea of Galilee and let's go to the other side. You see, when Jesus says, let us go to the other side, he has a plan. He has a purpose. And so when we read that, we feel that, oh, okay, maybe he has, he's done with the ministry on this side of the sea and he's going to do some big ministry on the other side of the sea. But you know, when Jesus crosses the sea and goes to the other side, he goes to this man who is living a life of isolation, shunned by the general public. Jesus goes to him. He touches him, he heals him, and he gets into his boat and he goes back to where he came from. He has no other ministry agenda. He doesn't go to the cities and towns of Gadara and preach, no. He crosses the sea for just one man. Those of you who are living in isolation, let me tell you, Jesus cares for you. He loves you. He will come to you. He is there, right there, in your room, where nobody dares to come. Jesus is there, right near you. All you need to do is stretch out your hand and call to Him. Say, Jesus, come and touch me. Heal me. He is able and He is ready to touch you and heal you. He understands what you are going through not just physically he knows what you're going through emotionally and mentally we all know the story of the lost sheep jesus said that there was a good shepherd who left 99 of his sheep in a safe place and went looking for that one sheep which he lost let me tell you he said it out of his own experience he left all those people in the previous chapter we read that there were crowds following him but he decided to cross the sea and go to the other side just for that one man living in isolation. Let me tell you, you are not alone. Jesus sees your condition and he cares for you. He loves you. He's right there in your room to stretch out his hand and touch you and heal you. Just receive him into your heart. Just receive his love and experience your miracle that he has for you. Take this opportunity to ask Jesus to reveal himself to you through dreams and visions. He is faithful. He will do it. At the same time, I just want to talk to all the believers all over the world listening to me. The other day when I was praying, I heard a voice and it was like this. The same God that destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah did not destroy Nineveh. And the key there was repentance. The city of Nineveh repented and God changed his plan and he did not destroy them.
Let me remind you, brothers and sisters, you see all over the world today, often this one scripture is being quoted again and again. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. The scripture says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and will turn from their wicked ways. We as believers are making a grave mistake. We say, Lord, we intercede. We stand in the gap. But God is expecting a repentance from us who are called by his name. God says, if my people who call themselves by my name, who say they are Christians, who, they, who say that I am their father, if they would just repent, if they would just humble themselves. The scripture shows us that pride has crept into the church. We need to humble ourselves. We need to repent and cry out to God. And God says that if they repent, if my people repent, I will heal their land. God will send his healing. God will send his healing to Chandigarh, to India, to all the different countries of the world from this present crisis. Only if the church who is called by his name would repent, would humble ourselves. I would request all of you, wherever you are, let us just humble ourselves. Let us turn back yes as a church we have moved away from god the church has been sleeping pride has crept into the church we need to humble ourselves the coming of the lord is very near if we humble and if we repent the lord will send healing to the rest of the world amen may the lord help each one of us to grow closer to him during this time god bless you